Hello, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to use a tool called Snippet. So it should be on all of your computers. So to find it, you go down to the type search bar. This might also be in um, your, your bar here, but um, you'll look for the type search bar. And you're going to just type in SNIP, S-N-I-P. And that should bring up a Snippet type tool. You can click on that. And that'll bring up this. Um, I pulled mine down to the uh, toolbar at the bottom where you can have it on your main page so I can access it whenever I want. And the idea is that you'll be able to take a screenshot, a very quick screenshot or section of anything you need. Let me give you an example. Say I need an image of an insect. So say I need an image of a beetle. So I just type in image of a colonoptera which is a beetle. And so I'll get images and you can type in a specific name if you want also. And you go past the ones that are obviously money and you get all these different things. So let's say, oh, this is the one I want. I want to, or let's just go with a common beetle, a nice darkling beetle. So um, I can click on this and bring it up bigger or I can just take my snippet tool, which I have and I just click new and I'll make my screen dark and then I just cut out the size that I want boom like this there it is and then I can save it to my computer or I can print it right into my class notebook so if I save it you'll have to know where you saved it and then you have to pull it up but you can also um, just go control C control C and then that image will be pasted somewhere. So let's say I uh, let's pull up a Word document. So I have a Word document up and I can just push Control V and there's my image. Or if I'm in class notebook, which some of you will be, to say I'm in class notebook and I'm op opening up a new page and I can just push Control V and it will put my image right there without having to save it to my computer and then pull it back up. All right, so that's how you use your snippet and you can use it for lots of different things. It's a very powerful tool and you'll be needing it probably for your insect collection. All right, if you have any further questions, please talk to me, your science teacher.